cool. We're back to the heroes. And then we meet an indentured server. Holy cow, this guy looks like Matthew McConaughey, but we'll let that go. He's a prisoner working off a crime as a servant. Um, we get a Star Wars yeah. fact, Phantom Menace. Bet, but way less logical. Yes, it's so illogical. Where it's, did that bet come from? Well, it came Why? It, oh, it's like, Why? And also, it's just like... This guy feels like he could leave whenever he wants. Yeah. And he obviously doesn't like this person he's indentured to. And this is like a weird universe anyway. So why don't you just leave? No, I always pay my debts. Okay. Then why did you make that weird bet? Finish your time. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want it out, which is obvious, just yeah. leave. Just leave. There's no clearly, like, clearly that guy didn't want to leave. Yes, he's a prince, but he didn't want to leave. Like just hop on the bird and go, because clearly you could have done that. Even say he's an animal tamer. It just anyway, yeah. He has, anyway, he gets the weird bet. He has to face a hippogriff from Harry Potter, and they do the exact same thing they do in the Harry Potter movie, where they bow to it and it's respectful, and then he climbs on, and it's just this is Harry Potter. Yeah, it is. What, what was that but, one again? Was it, was, it, was it Azkaban or was it Goblet of Fire? Um, the one that Del Toro did. Um, it was the third one. Um, oh, Azkaban. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it, here's the crime of this scene, though. All right. Okay, so all of this stuff leading up to it is weird. Fine. But you know what? We've been we one hour, two hours into this movie. This movie does weird stuff all the time. Okay. Why did we have to spend another five minutes watching him ride this freaking bird thing? And then see him <laughs> fall off, fall off, and see him slow motion jump into the sky to get back on the bird. It's a, okay, look, I'm not defending it, but I'm saying what they're trying to do is it's called, it's, they're trying to do a characterization or they're trying to tell you who he is, which is funny because all they did was tell us what he does, not who he is. That who doesn't tell you about him. It was, it was a job description. No, That's but I'm saying, look, we saw him tame the thing. We saw him give the speech to about enough. betrayal and all of that stuff. That's all we needed. That's all we Just needed. Climb the thing. He's tamed now. Leave. Live with the team. Yes. That's it. You could have had none of the flying. Have him talk to it. Get on it. Get off. Then he kills the guy. That's yeah. what you could have done. But done. Zack Snyder wanted to have a cool moment. And I can, I'll, I'll explain it to you now, actually, what he's, what he's trying to do here. He's trying to have a character moment. Um, anyway, but it's kind of weird because the story is trying to speed up, so, so he rushes through it, rushes, um, because there's no reason for the bet to be made. The person they're making the bet has no characterization. He, we don't even actually really see that he's a bad guy. He's just kind of fat and ugly and dirty. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I don't think he was a bad guy at all. No, yeah, he hadn't done anything bad. He wasn't like thing which he was just made a weird bit or else I get to keep you. And that was his most evil moment. But anyway, there's a cool slow-mo. Anyway, inside the weird, ridiculous scene, there's a nice little moment. Where um, we get, um, that stands out basically the idea well, through visuals. Again, Zack Snyder decides to talk through visuals in this moment. Um, <clears throat> where we get to see a slow mo of the hippograph looking at the scene. He looks at something and you can see the hippograph is smiling. Then the other guy looks at the thing and he's like, oh shit. So you can kind of get a moment where you can kind of see that the hippograph is thinking. How's the story? It takes about 30 seconds. And then you kind of get that little crash. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, you're still here. Um, mm. So yeah, I just wanted to say that moment. And then there's another scene inside that thing where you kind of get Cora appears to embrace the moment. It's a thing that you saw in the opening where she like smells the soil. And over here she kind of like tries to touch the air or something oh, like that. Wait, hold up. Have you gone through her backstory? That's done already. Yeah, we, we did that. So have, have you also spoken about the obvious comparison of these two scenes, right? Uh, which one and which one? Of the what? Of her origin story and Thanos and Gomorrah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, no, we did that. Yeah. So like, I was like, really? Yeah. What? Except it makes less sense because yeah. he's not trying to kill half the population. He's yeah. trying to kill all the population. But anyway. Um, and, and he, we, we he's with the happy that now. she pulled the trigger? Yes. We yeah. saw that. Like, I like I, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not my child. We, we with the bird now. We with yeah, the bird now. We're doing a little direction. We're doing a little directing um, thing. Oh, just... okay. Are we at the bird? Uh, yeah, we're, we're yeah. at Birdman. That's what I call him. I called him Birdman. Matthew McConaughey, because he's basically... And, and like, what, what was the whole point of everybody dodging the bird and then Sophia Botel is the one touching the feathers? Like, okay. like she's the most fearless one? Yes, yes. no, it's a... 
what it is. Okay, I gotta read this properly. Okay, cool. It's a uh, she. She's trying to embrace the moment, right? Um, she does it in the opening where she sniffs the snow, and she's like, and she's like, ah, oh, and then you kind of see um Ghana like looking at her. You know what I mean? It's a moment of humility. So the idea is that she likes the moment, and she ha and she's happy. She's happy right now. Um, but it's of course contradictory to the rest of the story because it stands out as as strange every single time. It's like every now and then she randomly decides to be Uncle Iroh from Avatar or Patrick Jane from The Mentalist, just out of the blue. She's Iroh. Oh, right? Jedi. Yeah, she's like. Yeah. Oh. She's trying to live in the also, did you notice how that the... guy was flexing his muscles the entire time? I was like, bro, we already know you're shirtless. You don't have to flex the six pack as as you're doing this thing. Like, I know you're Hold shirtless. Hold your damn breath, tuck your stomach in, go on. Wear a shirt or something. No, no. him not wearing a shirt, that's Wear fine. Wear a shirt. No, I'm a saying, look. I'm saying, Extrodin, that's fine. He's got rippling muscles to show. But, like, you don't have to be, like, the whole time. <laughs> They, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and, just be shirtless. You don't have to. They needed, oh, they needed something to keep time. the ladies' attention in these movies because at that point, I swear to God, they're going into falling into a coma. Like, dog, every five seconds, if you look at that guy, he's just always like, hmm. At his best, yeah, definitely. I was like, that was his acting tip. That was his acting tip. Yeah. Like, that was the director told him. Like, whenever you're not saying anything, flex those muscles <laughs> and yep. talk to the horse, bird, yep. thing. Anyway. In your language. For what Ooh. reason and our purpose? What? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we, we You've never the... been in a farm before, have you guys? Yeah. Uh, only, not no. for long. You don't break a horse just once and then you can suddenly Jeez. ride it, number one. You can't, you're not. I don't yeah. care how long you've been in the owner of this ranch. Even you should have the brainstorm of thinking, okay, it's listening to him now. It doesn't mean it's going to listen to everyone else. Ah, oh, my right. God. It was so stupid. Uh, yeah. Anyway, but we... It okay, so, so are we are it, we going it to so the... Feeble, it, it was I, so uh, FIBA book talk, doc, book talk coded, it's unbearable. Shirtless man riding a big black horse. Uh, I was like... Oh, <laughs> yeah. It looked like a Fabio... It looked like a Fabio cover. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 100% Fabio. Um, cool. So, um... Anyway, before you leave the scene, I'm still, I still have to get something. Right, right, right. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, cool. So anyway, yeah. We all agree it's not tied to anything. Her character, they try to make something out of her and it doesn't really make sense. Anyway, the bad man dies to the bird because they're trying to copy Harry Potter and it's just dumb because it's meaningless. Okay, cool. He's a bad man. Does despite it after them? It's made. Sorry? Yeah, do, do that. Does he have a horse now? Does it decide to join them? No. Nope. Uh, just no. It doesn't. They just leave it there. So they're gonna kill it most, right? But anyway, so the, uh, the Birdman dies because of reasons. Because they're trying to copy Harry Potter. Remember, because Draco Malfoy comes afterwards yeah. and then they get chopped up. They try to do the same thing. But remember, when he gets on the bird, he says nothing mean. He just tries to get on. Whereas Draco Malfoy actively antagonized the bird, and right. they got on. Zack Snyder must have fell asleep in that scene, so he misses the point. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so... Um, the... Slavery is his own meanness. I am... A dragon is not a slave. How do you say that in the original... Uh, how do you say that in the original... Uh, 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 Valerian? Let me look it up. <laughs> <laughs> look it up. But anyway, um, yeah, so... He's a bad man, despite honoring the bet that he made. But remember, he's a bad man, so we should be happy that he's dead. Even though he didn't go full Draco Macro, didn't yeah. go Draco Malfro, he didn't. He just climbed on, was thrown off and killed. Cool. Outside of him being a big, fat, bad man, what exactly made him worthy of being dead? <coughs> that guy wasn't even a slave. He was an indentured servant. He was serving a prison sentence. And also, it's not like they had him in the worst of conditions. It looks oh, like that was stuff that he does every day. He was just hammering stuff. No <laughs> sense. Wow. What a long ass sentence. Saldrizas do scary. <laughs> but like the other thing that I'm saying with that scene is like obviously this guy was not happy where he was at. Like if they were supposed to try and communicate that he was defeated, he didn't give me an air of I'm defeated and that's why no I've accepted this. No sentence. depression. They no. Should done, they should have done Guido. Guido from the Phantom Menace would have been a better example of what to do there. Again, copied Phantom Menace failed. It's just. And that's Phantom Menace. How are you feeling at Phantom Menace? 
<laughs> like Guido is not something that was rem- like nicely remembered. People do not like Guido like that. But you failed at that. Okay. <laughs> 